Anyone who is searching for real-world examples of grit and determination need look no further than the Indian indentured laborers who were brought to South Africa from 1860 onwards. Their struggle in the face of abuse and exploitation is commemorated at Freedom Park, and Korea attended an event that honored their memory and heritage. If the Union Buildings is a symbol of administrative authority in South Africa, then Freedom Park is a reminder of the sacrifices made in bringing democracy to our country. This is a place of remembrance, which pays tribute to everyone who played a meaningful, positive role in shaping our nation. Indians in South Africa have a long, colorful history. Today, I'm at Freedom Park to learn a little bit more about the indentured laborers and their fight for freedom, and we pay tribute to them with the performing arts. The combination of architecture and landscaping creates a powerful yet peaceful impression. Korea had arranged to meet a guide to help her grasp the details of the site's concepts and symbols. Ntela, how are you, how are you sir? Man? Tell me a little bit more about Freedom Park. This place, Freedom Park, is one of our heritage sites where we are commemorating our fallen heroes and heroines that have sacrificed their own lives you know, to fight for humanity and freedom. We also cover all those important aspects that make who we are as South Africans in Africa, aspects of spirituality, our heritage, our culture, our history. In telling our story, we avoided being narrow-minded, focusing only on the struggle for liberation. Now, on the basis of reconciliation and unity, we became inclusive. Hence, we make mention of the eight major conflicts that have shaped the history of our country. With the eternal flame, resembling the unknown heroes and heroes within the category of those major conflicts. As you know that during conflicts, we tend to forget about ordinary people who also play a pivotal role. One of the other elements within Freedom Park is the wall of names. And specifically, it goes into detail about these indentured laborers in South Africa. The way the names have been inscribed on the panel then, they are being inscribed according to how the Englishmen interpreted. Hence, when you go through that, uh, that list, you will see that some of the spellings there are not correctly spelled. That's actually quite an interesting story. My surname was my great, 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 great grandfather's first name and they mixed it up when he came over from India. You see now, yes. The Indians in South Africa had quite an integral part in the struggle for freedom. The Indians have played a pivotal role in South Africa uh, with leaders such as that of Mahatma Gandhi, Dr. Yosef Dadu, the late Dala Omar, Jay Naidu. Those are some of the leaders that have also sacrificed their own lives to see to it that we do achieve the freedom and the democracy that we've achieved as South Africans. In creating Freedom Park, the team of architects made a particular effort to integrate the various structures with their setting. Extensive use was made of natural stone to emphasize that the memorials are an integral part of South Africa and its history. Placed artfully within the design, but looking as if they've always been there. Stone and soil are complemented by water, fire and indigenous flora, which all speak to the senses and the spirit of the visitor. Since its unveiling in 2010, the section of the Wall of Names dedicated to Indian indentured labor has become a place of pilgrimage with annual events arranged by cultural and community organizations such as the South African Hindu Mahasabha. This breathes life into the memory and heritage of the pioneers of 1860. As Freedom Park, President Mandela is our patron in chief. We also firmly believe that had it not been because of him, probably Freedom Park will not have existed. Jane, I've had such an amazing time at the Freedom Park. What makes it so special for you? For me, it's the story behind the, the purpose for which it was established, to give honor, to give back integrity and respect to those who sacrifice their lives for freedom and humanity. Why the decision to include indentured laborers in the Wall of Names? Freedom Park's mandate is to honor broadly those who suffered so we should experience the joy of freedom, as Madiba puts it. And therefore, the story of the Indian indentured laborers falls within that category. We know that they were brought under false pretenses, but we also heard that on their way to South Africa, they were brutalized even on the ships. But also when they arrived here, they were basically treated as slaves, which they were. And therefore, they, they fall within the purpose for which Freedom Park was established, to honor them. To recognize names that are familiar to you on a platform as big and amazing as this Freedom Park, 
it touches your heart and it makes you feel that you're actually part of the story. The keynote address was delivered by Mujaji Makuela. The tranquility of this place and the peace, I'm sure you have experienced this afternoon. And indeed, Freedom Park is synonymous with our key principles that we advocate, that of spirituality, that of history, that of culture. But more than that, Freedom Park embodies the spirit of reconciliation and nation building, as well as social cohesion. It stands as a beacon for hope. As we remember the past, we will celebrate the future as a, a united country.